Hi there, Aquarius. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot. Thank you for tuning in for your October monthly reading. This is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Utilize your own intuition, guys. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If you want a more personal reading, just go ahead and go to that description box below and all my information is there. I am taking bookings up to November right now, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to pull an animal spirit for the month, start with some oracle cards, and then we're gonna do the spread uh, with tarot cards and see what the tarot cards have to say. Let's get started. All right, Aquarius, calling in your guides, your ancestors, Ascendant Masters, what does Aquarius need to know? <clears throat> we need some clear messages and clarity for the month of October. Let us know what animal spirit is with Aquarius this month for October. Animal spirit is with, here we go. <laughs> Aquarius, you got the Sandpiper spirit. Be playful. Be playful. <laughs> is a great card there might be a need of just being overworked tired doing too much um, at home with a family or just like being stuck and bored in your life I feel like a lot of boredom wanting something to do something fun pulling in that inner child in you that's what the Oracle cards have to say Be playful. Sometimes we get so stuck in the rut of just the mundane thing called life, you know? We just get stuck doing the same thing over and over and over again. And we just, it's like we live Groundhog's Day. That's how I feel. There's that need to be playful. So just get out of it. Do something different. Do something different. Get out. Get energetic again. Working out again complicated high priestess of spirit and a message okay Aquarius so we're starting off with complicated do you have something going on in your life right now that, I mean, obviously do if you're not, if you're on this channel looking on tarot, <laughs> dumb question. <laughs> Queries, I feel that there is a situation though that needs some attention that um, you are a little confused on, maybe seeking answers, right? Now you're calling in the high priestess of spirit. So to me, this is all about, um, also with the high priestess of spirit, it is, definitely the feeling of being connected and having that intuitive energy i feel like you're really allowing that support of the you know of spirit to be there for you during this complicated time because sometimes it's that need of just having prayers and sitting with yourself to get those answers and i feel like for a lot of you um aquarians out there you are seeing that you are seeking that you're seeking solitude in that sense um during the solitude and you know, when you are in that hermit mode, and I would not be surprised if we get the hermit coming out. I feel for many of you that you, you are seeking clarity, but you're not seeking it to the level of being egotistic about it, okay? You're not really asking people for help. You're just kind of like, what's this about? Why is this playing out the way it is? There's some kind of remorse that I'm feeling here. But there's something coming in. There's a message here. And we'll see what the cards have to say. Whether it's a person coming in or maybe you're getting some downloads. But there's definitely an unexpected message coming towards you. Maybe while you're in hermit mode to kind of like jostle you out. what tarot has to say I'm gonna shuffle these once I already pre shuffled all of these I'm gonna split the deck for those of you who are new how I do the monthlies is the first row is the beginning of the month 
Second row is the middle, and then the last row is the end of the month. All right, so time is always fluid and moving, so just keep that in mind that when we do this, that it could be happening now, because I'm recording some of this in September. It could be happening, you know, in the past already for some of this, and some of this may be happening down the road. We'll see. All right, we're starting off with the Three of Spears reversed, Knight of Coins, Four of Spears, Temperance reversed, Four of Coins reversed, Page of Coins reversed, Ten of Spears, Death reversed, The Lovers reversed. Just build a card, hold on one second. Two of Swords reversed, so it's definitely coming out of that complication or trying to, that blockage. The Priestess reversed, Seven of Coins reversed. Overall energy of this is Knight of Swords. This is your energy, air energy here. Something quickly is going to snap. Something quickly is coming through. I feel this is a quick, quick, brash, whoa, what just happened moment. All right, we're starting off with the three of spears. This is all about starting a foundation, right? Something is broken here. Um, now, you might be dealing with a fire sign. You might be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But overall, it's the energy of this. It could be you two feeling that. We have the Knight of Coins next to it. This is probably the slowest ass night <laughs> you can have, right? It's an offering but it's slow. There's some kind of there's kind of, some kind of slowness to a relationship right here. And we have the 4 of wands here. So there's something divine here happening here. This is going towards stability, but it's slow. It's like almost that I feel for some of you um for some of you have come out of maybe a relationship, whether you just are newly divorced or something, but you are seeking, you're coming out of this, right? You're coming out, you're moving away. So it's like you almost want to, a foundation has ended, a separation has ended, or maybe it's still complicated and going on, but you know what you want. You want, you want this. There's a little bit of an unbalance here though. I mean, we have the temperance here and it's reversed. The temperance is all about balance. The Sagittarius energy too. I feel like you might be dealing with a fire sign for sure. This is letting go, right? When we have the three of spheres and the four of wands right underneath this, this is the miser card, right? This is all about holding on to something. Do you see how he's holding on to those coins? This is about letting go, letting them fall, right? There's some kind of instability in here. Um, with the page of coins reverse, I just feel like this, this individual who is coming out of this, which, which could be you, um, there's a lot of instability here, doesn't have, um, is very burdened with this ending of this relationship. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of burden here, tennis, tennis spears here, this is all about burdens, but it's a completion. There's something that's not wrapped up though, because death is reversed with unbalanced here. So I feel like there might be complications within this ending of this relationship that you're going through. You might be dealing with a Gemini. The lovers is reversed. This is definitely an ending of some sorts. But you know, with the two of swords, this is usually about blocking, not sure, not sure which road to pick. This is reversed. You know this is this is ending or what needs to come. It's just slow, right? The priestess energy here, reverse, is somebody who you, is very intuitive, right? It's the red witch. It's the red woman. <laughs> it's a witch here. Very intuitive individual, right? knows what's going on and everything. There's definitely some unclarity. Like, I feel like with the high priestess in spirit and then the priestess reversed here, um, you may be going through the stage of just trying to start utilizing your intuition, following your heart, feeling what's good for you, um, getting in that need of needing to be more playful, feeling burdened by this loss of whatever this is. 
for many of you, I feel like it's a divorce or um, an ending of a relationship that you're just getting over, right? You're just moving forward. You're just trying to start to get through. You have the seven of coins here reversed. So this is all about slow growth. When's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? This is reversed. So I feel like there's something that's going to be picking up at the tail, at the tail end of the month. Let's see what this has to say. Nine of Wands. So you're definitely coming out of that defensive energy. This is this is um, fire energy here. You might be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely coming out of feeling defensive. This this breakup has definitely been hard. Yeah, the Page of Wands is all about wanting a new beginning and everything, but it's like there's no new start here because this is reversed. There's no, like, there's no, I keep hearing the song, um, there's a bluebird on my shoulder, like, you know, you know the song, Bluebird on My Shoulder. I feel like you don't even have that feeling of being light. I, there's definitely a need to be playful here, for sure. Whatever message came about, um... Whatever message is coming about, whether you have something legal going on or not, with the Ten of Wands um, reverse again, you got the Ten of Wands again, but this one's coming out or later on. This is reversed. So it's like the burdens are going to be released soon. It's just going to take some time for you. I do feel like it's going to take some time for you, uh, Aquarians. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Someone's coming towards you. Seven of Wands. One more. Ten of Pentacles. Do you have your eyes set on someone? Maybe that's what this message is about. Somebody is here who's coming towards you who has a lot more stability. It's almost like I feel for many of you, um, this individual is sure of themselves, um, stable, but there's something slow, there's some kind of slowness coming on this. Now I have the seven of wands here, but you see how in this card for this particular seven of wands deck, you see how they're looking out towards their future. I feel like, like there's this confidence level here. This is usually somebody who's a little bit egotistical, but I feel like there's some kind of confidence level of somebody knowing that they are going to get something complete. Right? This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a happy life, happy abundance, full family, everything, commitment. I feel like someone's moving towards you. It's not the energy of the past for sure, what you're coming out of. This is, this is looking towards it. Yeah. Look at the Nine of Swords. This is like this is a, this is being upset about something, probably something to deal with the past. Maybe not maybe not being able to move towards that individual yet. Yeah, there's there's definitely going to be messages. There's definitely messages coming to you. This could be text messages, this could be emails, quick phone calls, this individual. Whoever this individual is has been waiting on the sideline, and I hate to say like the sideline, but it's like they know you've been through something that I feel like, um, yeah, this, this, this message is going to give you some clarity. Some clarity of, of I don't know, I feel like this person's gonna give you some kind of support could just be emotional support, health, health. Yeah, three of swords. This person's going to help you mend your heart. This is reversed though. This individual coming in, 
who sees the hardships that you've been through, there's some kind of balance going on here. That's why it's complicated. You may have known this person before. Six of Swords. This is about moving away. But do you see how she's got her eyes closed but she knows that she's moving? I feel like there's this feeling of knowing. It's like there's this feeling of knowing that you're going to be moving away. <laughs> Underneath the deck, or the tail end here, is the fool. This is somebody you're gonna be taking a risk with. Seven of Cups is reversed. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Seven of Cups is reversed. So this is all about being clear on something. There's gonna be clarity in these messages. You're gonna be really clear that you made all of the right decisions in your life, right? You're pulling in that spirit thing in. This person is going to make you feel young again. Your inner child, playful. This person is your 10 of cups. This is somebody who emotionally gives to you and it's an equal give and take equal give and take it's emotionally fulfilling in every sense Aquarius I'm just curious too like when I see some of this energy of just coming out of feeling so much turmoil or I really feel it strongly for somebody who has a break who's gone through a really bad breakup or is having a hard time getting out of this energy of just like losing it that there that there is another individual who is going to come in and help heal the situation but it's like you have to let go right like the death was still reversed so you still have to let go of some of these burdens i'm not saying it's all going to happen in the month of october but you, there's definitely something once this is cleared or coming in you do have another individual coming in you may know them already if you haven't met them yet um just just know that that once you clear this out once you clear out this old um, relationship that no longer served you and you're ready and you let go of these burdens you know what you want you pull in that high spirit energy you let go of it being complicated to the fact of just like this is what it is this relationship didn't work i'm letting go of the crossroads i'm choosing the road that i want i'm not putting any more coins into this I think when you get to that stage, that's when that person's going to slowly come towards you. I think that's why it's so slow. I think that's why it's coming slowly towards you. This is this is divine timing at play. Divine timing at play. All right, Aquarius, if this resonated with you, go ahead and hit like. Feel free to comment. I love to read everybody's comments below. And I will see you next month. Take care, Aquarius.